Hello and welcome to another TARDIS Eruditorum video vlog. Today we're going to look at the depictions of female companions in peril, and in particular what film theorist Laura Mulvey calls the male gaze. We're going to look at both the 1967 Patrick Troughton story The Ice Warriors and the 1963 William Hartnell story The Daleks. Hope you enjoy. In her landmark essay, Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema, Laura Mulvey sets out the notion of the male gaze and what she calls scopophilia, the pleasure of looking at something. Mulvey argues that female characters in films are often objectified by the very camera movements and editing itself, and are treated as sexualized objects instead of as characters. One of the things that's really visible watching the Ice Warriors is the fact that Victoria, when she's fleeing from the Ice Warrior in episode 4, is an absolute textbook case of this. But to understand what's so weird about what we're seeing here in this clip, we're going to have to go back and look at the original scene of a companion being menaced by a monster in Doctor Who, the cliffhanger of episode one of the Daleks. The thing to notice about this sequence is how much time the camera spends on Barbara's face. This entire sequence is about getting the audience to feel afraid along with Barbara. Barbara is meant to be the character that the audience identifies with, that the audience more or less shares the emotions of. And so the camera spends almost the entire time on Barbara's face. We see her moving through space. We don't get a point of view shot, but neither do we get a shot of the corridor with her moving down it. And when we cut to the monster's eye point of view right here, what we're going to get is still Barbara's terror and Barbara's anguish. This entire scene is about conveying her emotion very specifically. Here, on the other hand, we spend a whole lot of our time watching Victoria run down corridors, and you can see that in the first clip we used, too. We don't spend a lot of time on her face and with her emotions, and when we do do close-ups, as we're about to in a minute, it's less about showing her emotion and more about fragmenting her body, which is a technique Lauren Mulvey talks about. This isn't a case of how does Victoria feel and how should we feel along with her, it's a case of, oh no, we've put the plucky child actress in peril again, isn't that awful? And here you can see that bit I was talking about where we cut to her hands. It's a very, very different and far more objectifying way of treating companions in danger from monsters. Completely different from what they do with Barbara. That's what we've got for today. Thanks very much for watching, and look for more commentary on the blog, tardiseraditorum.blogspot.com. See you next time.